Hey guys, we are back at the third annual Pass the Aux, and I'm here with Kendall Banks. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So first of all, tell me what part of the city you're from. Where did you grow up, and how you got your little swag? I grew up in Gentilly. You dig? So, <laughs> like, if anybody is from the city, y'all know that. Like, that's where it's not that bad. You see what I'm saying? Because that's where all the OGs go when they decide to chill out. So, but yeah, I grew up in Gentilly. Um, like two blocks down from Capdo. So I'm an AWAR animal. Okay, 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 okay. So tell me about who influenced you lyrically when you were growing up. So the artist that made me want to start making music and rapping was Cassidy. He's from Philadelphia. You dig, like, Punchline, King, all of that. So I know Cassidy. So A really great battle rapper. Right. So when I first started rapping, because I didn't have access to like recording and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I looked at battling as an opportunity to perform because I couldn't perform in the studio or anything like that. So I started out battle rapping like ninth grade or something like that. That's when I first started. And I'd be writing and all of that kind of stuff, but I didn't even really, I didn't really get to recording music until I was like 19 because I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna really do it. So you gotta start investing in yourself if you spend money on the things you like, if you like making music and you really want it to be something, then you spend money on making music. So, and if you're not willing to do that, then you're not really willing to get anywhere. So let me ask you this. That was interesting that you say your, your, your first influence was Cassidy, who is a good battle rapper, as well as Meek Mill. Um, let me ask you this. So sometimes battle rappers don't make their transition into the pop scene because it, it's hard for some of them to go from being a, a great battle rapper to a great popular artist but you know i've heard what you did and you kind of had that i feel like you had that potential to be a good popular artist so so what do you think that is you know that that gap with a lot of battle rappers where they can't transition over into like a drake type of um i don't i don't think they can't necessarily but they just got to be willing to like make other music yeah. you see what i'm saying like eventually at some point it's like this is how i feel i've been at this since like 2010 it's 2018 like i've built a name for myself in the city and like people know that i can rap so i don't have to see rapping is a boastful uh side of entertainment because it's all about you know being prideful and talking about yourself for the most part so I'm at a point where I don't. I feel like I don't have to prove that I can rap to people. I could just make some good music, and maybe that's not what they're doing. They're just focusing on. They can't get out of the bar for bar ordeal. You see what I'm saying? Once you take a step back and be like, man, I want to make something that people could ride to, nod their head, make your body move. It's all about the sonics of things, and it usually starts with like the beat. So they're not rapping on them kind of beats either. They're rapping on boom bap beats right. which is true, nothing wrong true. with that you see what i'm saying because any chance i get i hear one i could go in on that but i could also go and make a song about how i feel feel today or what somebody did to me that affected me or something like that you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so and i think that's a man thing too not to seem sexist but <laughs> that's a man thing too because men we don't like to be emotional sometimes so all we talk about is how hard and gangster we might be or whatever you see what i'm saying so once you decide to let all of that go and just let the music move you you can make great music so tell me about why it was important for you to try to be in this competition and and, and what it means to you to be a part of this so uh shout out to Shaq, shout out to lex for doing this i never participate in no kind of social media challenges or anything so but when this one came up the free c murder challenge the beat is always a beat. It's like it's a beat I've always loved, but I never touched. So I was like, okay, I think I could do this. I, I rock with this. Not that I think I can, because I know I could do it. But I'm going to participate in this. And plus, there's people that might have never heard of me that's going to access this as well. So I just looked at it as an opportunity to showcase myself. And, you know, it paid off. I'm here. They rock with it. I went the extra mile, I shot a whole video for it versus just, you know, wrapping it on my phone, like, because I shoot videos as well for myself. <laughs> so, 
So you do it all? I do it all. And that's because I never want to like box myself into where I absolutely need someone else. Yeah. If I want to, if I'm asking you for help or I'm trying to work with you, it's because there's something about you that I, that I rock with and you could bring that energy to me and we could make something good together. But if it comes down to something need to, needing to get done, I can handle it. <laughs> so tell me this, for people who have never heard your music, who don't know anything about True, tell, give me three words to describe your music. Uh, live, um, positive, and you're going to move. Like, because everything I do, it's, it's, it's got a wave and a flow to it. So, like, I got to the point where when I'm making music, it's not even really about necessarily what I'm saying. I want to be known for the way I delivered it and the vibe I gave you while you received it. Awesome. Tell the people where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, at Real Kendall Banks, R-E-A-L-K-E-N-D-A-L-B-A-N-K-S. Um, Kendall Banks on all the streaming sites. All my music is up there. Please go spin it. Put it on mute and spin it all night on repeat if you want to, because we get paid for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank your you. time. Thank I appreciate you. you. I appreciate we will be right back with more Fat Fat and all of that. Don't go nowhere.